Let's find the least common multiples of these monomial variable expressions. This is pretty darn similar to finding the least common multiple of ordinary numbers. As a recap, to find the least common multiple of two numbers, we can look at their factorizations. 12 can be factored into 2 times 2 times 3, and 9 can be factored into 3 times 3. So to find the least common multiple of 12 and 9, we just need to multiply together their prime factors without using duplicates. So from 12, we need the two factors of 2, and then we also need the factor of 3. For 9, we need two factors of 3, but we already have one from the 2, so we only need one additional factor of 3, and thus we see the least common multiple is 2 times 2 times 3 times 3, and that's 36. Finding the least common multiple of variable expressions works very similarly. Let's begin with this one, 9xy squared and 15x squared y. Part of this process will be finding the least common multiple of the real number coefficients. So let's begin there. We can factor 9 into 3 times 3, and we can factor 15 into 5 times 3. Then, to find the least common multiple of 9 and 15, we just multiply the prime factors together without using duplicates. So we have two factors of 3 from the 9, then we have a factor of 5 from the 15. We don't need a duplicate 3 from the 15 because we already have a factor of 3 from the 9. So the least common multiple of 9 and 15 is 3 times 3 times 5, which is 45. Now we can focus on the variables. Our least common multiple is going to have a coefficient of 45. Regarding the variables, we're going to need two factors of x from the 15x squared y, so we'll have 45x squared. That covers the x that's in the other expression. We don't need an additional x. However, this other expression has two factors of y, so we're going to need those two factors of y as well. And that's our answer. If this expression on the left had three factors of y, then we would have needed three factors of y in our least common multiple. So to put it simply, for the variables, you just need to take the highest power of each variable in the two terms. The highest power of x was x squared, so the least common and multiple needs an x squared. The highest power of y was y squared, so the least common multiple needed a y squared. Just like how with the numbers, the 9 had two factors of 3, so we need those two factors of 3 in the least common multiple, and so on. Let's move on to the next example. 15x squared and 18x. We begin by finding the least common multiple of the real number coefficients. We can factor 15 as 5 times 3, and we can factor 18 as 6 times 3. We can factor the 6 further as 2 times 3. Then, the least common multiple of 15 and 18 is found by multiplying the prime factors together without using duplicates. So, we need a factor of 5 from the 15. We also need a factor of 3 from the 15. For 18, we need a factor of 2, and we need two factors of 3. We already have one factor of 3 from the 15, so we only need to include one more. Then the least common multiple of 15 and 18 is 5 times 3, which is 15, times 2, which is 30, times 3, which is 90. So the least common multiple of these two variable expressions will be 90, and then the highest power of x is x squared, so we'll need 90x squared. And there's no other variable, so that's the answer. Moving on to 14ab and 21bc, let's find the least common multiple of the coefficients. 14 is 7 times 2, and 21 is 7 times 3. Thus, for the least common multiple, we'll need a factor of 7, a factor of 2, and a factor of 3 and this is 42. So the least common multiple of the variable expressions will be 42, and then the highest power of a is a to the 1, so we'll have a to the 1. The highest power of b is b to the 1, so we'll need b to the 1. 
and the highest power of c is c to the 1, so we'll also need that. And those are all the variables. This is the least common multiple, 42 abc. This last example is r cubed and 5 rst squared. The coefficients are 5 and 1. The least common multiple of 5 and 1 is obviously 5, because that's a multiple of 5 and it's a multiple of 1. So the least common multiple of the variable expressions will be 5, and then the highest power of r is r to the 3, so we'll have that. The highest power of s is s to the 1, and the highest power of t is t to the 2. So the least common multiple of these variable expressions is 5 r cubed s t squared. And that's it. To find the least common multiple of a pair of variable expressions, first find the least common multiple of the real number coefficients. That's part of your answer. The rest of the answer is just the highest power of each of the different variables that are in the expressions. If the highest power is y to the 2, you'll need a y to the 2. If the highest power of x is x to the 2, you'll need an x to the 2 and so on. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and check out my pre-algebra course and pre-algebra exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching.